Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Big Shot Express. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to filming this video because I did videos for all the other Sizzix machines a good few months ago now. Um, we looked at the Big Shot, the Big Shot Plus, the Big Shot Fold Away and the Sidekick. And I meant to do a video on the Express, you know, at the same time as all of those, but I didn't have the time and time has just run away with me. So apologies that it's taken a little while longer to get this one done, but today I'm going to show you all around the Express and all the features. The Big Shot Express is basically a standard size Big Shot and instead of a crank handle, it's got a motor. So if you have any sort of dexterity issues or you just prefer an electric machine to a manual, then this is fabulous because it basically is a Big Shot with a motor so that means you can use big styes in it now there are quite a few electric machine die cutting machines out there i can only think of one other one off the top of my head that you can that's, that's got a wide enough opening for using big styes and for me i i've got a lot of big styes and i wouldn't want to lose that versatility so i'm never going to buy a machine that i can't use my bigs in because having big styes means I can cut from leather, fabric, mount board, mat board. If I want to create journals and things like that where I want to be using mount board, you know, I don't want to give that up. So um, this machine to me has all the versatility of a big shot, but just with electric. So it, it's a fabulous machine. If you've already got a standard size big shot, and you're thinking of getting an electric machine as well, then the beauty of that is that it is the same plates. You're only going to be buying one type of cutting plate because they're going to work, you know, they are the same plates. The platform on this, it does come with a longer platform. Let me take it out and show you. The platform it comes with is the same as you get with the Big Shot, but it's just a longer version. And in fact, the standard Big Shot used to come with a longer version, but um, a lot of people said they prefer the short. So um, it now comes with the short. But really, the platform length is, is personal preference. There are pros and cons to both. The shorter platform takes less time to run through the machine, but the longer platform gives you more space to assemble your dies on before you run them through. So there, there are pros and cons to both. So, but anyway, the... the the Express comes with these longer platforms, but it comes with standard size cutting pads. You can use the extended cutting pads or standard with these platforms, it doesn't matter. The next thing to mention actually is the size, because you're looking at the two of them next to each other and you probably think this looks a lot bigger than the standard Big Shot. But if I lift this up, and pop it, whoops, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> I won't edit that out. Um, as you can see, it's the same size and then you've just got this panel on the side where there is the button for the electric and the motor's in this section. But if you look, my handle on the manual actually extends further out than that. So in terms of desk space, this is um, taking up slightly smaller desk space. It's, it's the same length. Um, the other difference is that this has got these wings on the side, turn it, you can see, to help the plates guide through. That's quite handy actually, because it just means that your plates are going to be always straight. Um, so that's really useful. The button on the side, this is another great feature of this, um, which a lot, well, I don't think any of the other um, manual machines have that, um, electric machines have. The button on the side here, with, with most of the electric machines, you kind of feed your plates in and the machine takes it and it goes on its own steam. And if there's a problem, like you've tried to jam too much in or whatever, it either won't take the plates off you or it will spit them back out. With the Express, you're in control, which I have to say I prefer because you, you feed your plates in, press the button, and it feeds it through. If you decide, well, I've only got a small flower die, I don't need to run it all the way through. You can just bring it back to you. So you're in control. You can 
you can feed it all the way through or just as much as you need to and whichever way you prefer i know some people like to sort of feed it in that way and bring it towards them so you've got the option the other thing you probably noticed as i did that was how quiet this is this is this is one of the quiet well it is the quietest i've ever come across um, all the other electric machines for whatever reason seem to be really noisy uh, this is pretty quiet so that's you know for me I don't mind because I'm in my craft studio here at the end of the garden but if I were crafting in the house maybe while someone else was watching television or you know while the kids were asleep or whatever then that you know that's an important thing so it's a very quiet machine so I think that's covered all the basics and I can pick my plates back off the floor now and we'll switch to my overhead camera and I'll show you properly um, the machine in action. We'll run through a big sty and a fiddlet die and you can see how it works. So let's have a look at the machine in action and what we'll do is we'll cut a thin die, a big sty and I'll run through an embossing folder just so you can see that it really does work exactly the same way it's the standard big shot and just as efficiently now i mentioned about this longer platform being great because i can assemble everything on here i've got these side panels that mean my plates aren't going to budge they're not going to go wonky so i can assemble things on here that perhaps i might normally want to tape down so i've got this poinsettia die here that's got an out uh, an outline die now, I want to make sure that I've got a good border around, that it's, you know, this even all the way around. So that looks about right to me. Now, if I had to lift that up and feed it through a machine, there's no way that would be staying perfect like that. But as long as I put my top plate on carefully, and just drop it on, then that isn't going to move. So I can run this through. I've got the button here. You can see here, it's a very simple toggle. So it's just that way to go through. And as I said, it takes nine seconds to go all the way through. So it's pretty fast. And then that hasn't moved at all. So I have got oops, my outline. <clears throat> And then my lovely inner piece. Let me just grab my poker tool. Let's pop that on there. Just grab my poker tool to pop that out. And then there's my lovely insert. Now I could have, you know, ideally you'd probably do those from different colours um, to do an insert. But you can see how well that worked. Um, I only need one pass in the machine as it would with the standard big shot. So really, really fabulous. Now, Biggs, which is, you know, for me, the absolute um, key, key thing that you would want from a die cutting machine is to be able to cut Biggs. I've grabbed one of my favourites. This is the Primitive Hearts Biggs die. So I'll pop that face up there. Now, because this is a Biggs, I can cut something a bit thicker. So I've got some chipboard here. And it'll probably go through two layers of this, actually. So let's let's really go for it. Give it some, give it, make it work. So with the big styes, if you're not familiar, you just need to sandwich those between the two cutting pads. And here we go. And it's gone through both layers of quite thick chipboard actually without any problem at all and you could hear there it was it was fairly quiet going through and you know there's no kind of straining if you you know you think this is quite a lot I've I've just put through in one go there and it's cut them all beautifully so there we go I've got a whole load of hearts ready to use on a project from some nice sturdy chipboard so that's bigs we've done fins uh one the last thing i'll show you is an embossing folder and i've got a 3d embossing folder so for a 3d embossing folder i just need my base plate and my embossing folder and a bit of card so i'll just pop the card inside there now for standard embossing folders i'd be sandwiching it between two cutting pads and running it through for the 3d ones because they're thicker you just need to put the folder straight on your 
base platform and then put one cutting pad on top and then we'll run it through. Now with the 3D, they recommend that you run it through a couple of times. So the beauty is I can just reverse this now. Now that's gone through, I can just bring it back to me. There we go. And I've got fabulous deep emboss there, you can see. So I hope this video has been useful to you and hopefully if you have been thinking about getting an electric machine this has given you a good overview of the Big Shot Express and all the features um, and maybe if you're on the fence as to what type of machine to get you might want to check out my other videos that I did before because I've got a video now on all the different machines that Sizzix offer. So if you are new to die cutting and you're sort of trying to work out which one would suit you, have a look at those other videos because there is a reason why Sizzix make all these different versions of the Big Shot. And that's because we all have different needs. Um, you know, if, you, if you're someone that likes to go out and about to crops and take your machine with you, then the Big Shot Express probably isn't the machine for that because having the motor on the side means it is a bit heavier than the standard Big Shot. And of course you need to plug it in so it's not as portable. If you're if, if that's you, then you will probably want the Sizzix Fold Away, which is a fabulous machine, folds up, you can chuck it in the car, take it with you somewhere. Um, if you're someone that does a lot of soft crafts and, you, and construction type projects where you're making boxes and gift bags then you probably want the Big Shot Plus because it's it's that larger format and you can use the larger dies and you know a lot of the sort of gift boxes and things like that you do need the A4 size dies for so you know I could go on all day and bore you to death <laughs> um, if you're undecided check out the other videos where I run through all of the machines and then you can work out which one would suit your needs best if you've got any questions, though, if 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 my videos haven't helped you decide and, and you need help, just leave a question, a comment below and I'll get back to you. I'll also put links in the description box. Um, to, I'll put links for all the machines, actually, so that if you want to go and check them out and see the different prices, etc., because they all do vary in price. Um, I'll put all that info there as well. So. Hopefully that will help you decide which machines for you. And, you know, it, hopefully it's given you a good overview of the Express. Thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you soon.